go to Anthony Scaramucci, who is familiar to some viewers of our uh, uh, network because he appears on CNBC as a hedge fund manager. And I also went to law school with you with uh, Brian Mathis. It's great uh, to back see you. in the day. Um, you, you've, you've, you've done very well. <laughs> <laughs> very good. That's great. And, and if I fouled you on the hoop court, it wasn't intentional. I remember you that. that. <laughs> you, you would remember if I fouled you. I got a low center of gravity. The, 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 the question I have, sir, and this is something I really, you know, a lot of my friends are thinking about. Listen, I represent the Wall Street community. We have felt like a pinata. Maybe you don't feel like you're whacking us with a stick, but we certainly feel like we've been whacked with a stick. So I certainly think that Main Street and Wall Street are connected and if we're going to heal the society and make the economy better how are we going to work towards that healing wall street and main street question number one mm -hmm. and then question number two has to do with job growth i was doing a calculation i i run skybridge capital it's got 7.4 billion dollars under management and i'm thinking about hiring new people mm -hmm. a fifty thousand dollar worker in new york city if I want to pay the full freight on the health care, right. plus the FICA and all the other stuff, it's about $90,000, sir. Mm -hmm. That woman, man or woman, is going to take home about 35000 It seems very, very disconnected, and I think that's one of the main reasons why we don't have a lot of job growth. So two questions. When are we going to stop wagging at the Wall Street pinata? And how are we going to fix that arbitrage so that we can create jobs in our society? Right. Well, well uh, on the first issue. Um, and I promise not to foul you if we play hoops again. <laughs> the, uh, uh, on the first question, uh, I, I think it would be useful to go back and look at the speeches that I've made, including a speech, by the way, I made back in 2007 on Wall Street before Lehman's had gone under, in which I warned about uh, a potential crisis if we didn't start reforming practices on Wall Street. At the time, I said exactly what you said, which is, Wall Street and Main Street are connected. Uh, we need a vibrant, vital financial sector that is investing in businesses, investing uh, in uh, uh, jobs, investing in our people, providing consumers loans so they can buy products. All that's very important, and we want that to thrive. But we've got to do so in a responsible way. Now, uh, you know, I, I have been amused over the last a uh, couple of years, this sense of somehow uh, me beating up on Wall Street. I think most folks on Main Street feel like they got beat up on. Yeah. Yeah. And they, and, and I'll be honest with you, the, there, there's a, probably a big chunk of the country. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on a second. There, there's, a, there's a big chunk of the country uh, that thinks that I have been too soft yep. on Wall Street. Uh, and that's probably the majority, not, not the minority. Now, what I've tried to do is just try to be practical. Uh, you know, uh, I'm sure that at any given point over the last two years, there have been times where I have been frustrated, and I'll, I'll give you some examples. I mean, when I hear folks who say that somehow we're being too tough on Wall Street, but after a huge crisis, the top 25 hedge fund managers took home a billion dollars in income that year. A billion. That's the, that, that's the average for the top 25. I'm, you know, uh, and, I, and yet Forbes magazine is, puts on their cover a story saying he has an anti-colonial attitude, or Steve Schwartzman, a big figure on Wall Street, says their approach to the financial regulation uh, and taxation is like Hitler invading, right. invading Poland. Well, where does that come uh, well, from? I, I, I mean, I, I don't know where that comes from. I mean, I, th th that's my point, I guess. Uh, it, it is a two-way street. If you're making a billion dollars a year, after a very bad financial crisis where 8 million people lost their jobs and small businesses can't get loans, then uh, I think that you shouldn't be feeling put upon. Uh, the question should be, how can we work with you to continue to grow the economy? Uh, one, a big source of frustration, uh, this quote that you just said, uh, this was me acting like Hitler going into Poland, had to do with a proposal to change a rule called carried interest, which basically allows hedge fund managers to uh, get taxed at 15% on their income. Now, everybody else is getting taxed at, you know, a lot more. <laughs> the, the secretary of the hedge fund is probably being taxed at 25, 28, right? What, 
And, and these folks are making, uh, getting taxed to 15. Now, there are complicated economic arguments as to why this isn't really income, this is more like capital gains and so forth, which is a fair argument to have. I, I have no problem having that argument with hedge fund managers, many of whom I know uh, and, and went to school with, uh, and, and I respect uh, their, their business acumen. But the notion that somehow me saying maybe you should be taxed more like your secretary when you're pulling home a billion dollars or a hundred million dollars a year, I don't think is me being extremist or being anti-business. Uh, and and that, that's the confusion I need to get into. Um,